Uh, hi everyone and welcome back uh, to this series of solving exam problems for the BEO uh, technical exam electrical A1 circuits and this is a question from the second category of questions we have six different categories the first one was circuit reduction we finished that the second one is about DC analysis techniques we solved two questions about nodal this question is about mesh analysis uh, technique, and we'll see, want to know how to approach such a problem, how to solve it. So we'll give a little bit of background about the mesh analysis. So the mesh is another procedure, it's a general procedure for analyzing the, circ the circuits using mesh currents. And these mesh currents, as the currents you see in the question, I1, I2, I3, and I4. So we have four different meshes, and these are the currents that are assumed in these meshes. Now, in the nodal analysis, we apply KCL to find unknown voltages in a given circuit. So we try to find all node voltages. Here, in the mesh analysis, we apply KVL to find unknown currents. And what is a KVL? Just a very quick revision if you don't know. So basically here, if I have this small loop, I have here R1, R2, and have voltage supply Vs, assume the current in this direction. So this is plus, minus, plus, minus. This is the voltage drop. Here it is I, R1 using Ohm's law. Here it is I, R2. And then apply KVL summation of a voltages in a closed loop is basically equal to zero. So you will have I, R1 plus I, R2 minus Vs equal to zero. So that is KVL, okay? So a mesh is a loop, basically, which does not contain any other loops within it, okay? So this is what is defined as a mesh, and we'll see that in the circuit. Now, what are the steps? Assign mesh currents in the N meshes. So you see how many meshes do you have? You apply or you assume there is an N number of currents and in all exams i have noticed these currents will be already assigned to you so you don't need to take care of this step they will be given to you already then we'll apply kvl to each of the n meshes we apply we use ohm's law to express the voltages in each resistance in terms of the mesh current the voltage across the resistance be equal to the total current times r we will not apply KVL to a mesh that has a current source. We said the same thing for the node, but in another way, we said we will not apply KCL to a node that has a voltage, a voltage source. Here, we will not apply KVL to a mesh that has a current source. I will talk about that as we progress solving the question. Then we solve the resulting in number of equations. So let's go back to our question here. We want to find first. Uh, write down the mesh uh, equations, solve them, and then we need to find the power dissipation in in the six ohm uh, resistance. Okay, so let's let's start. Now we have six, oh, sorry, four currents, and we have four meshes here. Okay, and now we can see here there is a current here source between I1 and I2, so I cannot apply KVL to loop or mesh one or mesh two. However, I can utilize this information to relate the two mesh currents with the current uh, supply between, between them. How is that? Two amp is going in this direction. I1 is going clockwise in, in this direction, and I1 is going also clockwise in that direction. However, I2 is in the direction of 2 amp, I1 is opposing it. So we can say that I2 minus I1 is equal to the resultant current between them, which is the 2 amps. Again, because the 2 amps in the direction of the I2, it is I2 minus I1, not I1 minus I2, and this is my first equation. Again, we have here another current source, between I1 and I3, but this is different than this. This is an independent current source. It, its value is fixed, two amps, but this one <coughs> is a, actually a dependent current source. 
So for I0 depends on this I0 in the circle. So again, for I0 in the direction of I3 and the opposite direction of I1, so I3 minus I1 is equal to 4I0. Now, I'm adding another unknown. It means that I'm increasing the size of the problem. I don't like that, so I want to uh, get rid of I0. But what is basically I0? I0 can be found from mesh number 4. So I4 is going in this direction, opposing I0. So basically, I4 and I0, they are equal to each other, but basically, uh, they are opposite signs. So, but... your I4 is equal to minus I0. So now substitute this one here. So you will have I3 minus I1 is equal to minus 4I4. I can rearrange the equations, move this one here. So it becomes I1 minus I3 minus 4I4 equal to zero and this is my second equation so we have two equations i need to have two two more now i don't have any more current sources so let's start doing the kvl and i will go for mesh number one which is the one that is i4 is going through now before we start we see the current that is in that mesh which is here it's i4 and we assign the polarity across the resistance according to the direction of I4. So I4 going this way, so it becomes plus, minus, and plus and minus. And assume you are here, you are taking one for round around there. So you are adding the voltages as you going through this one mesh until you come back to your point. So let's say you are going in that direction. So the voltage across the, so KVL, to loop number one. Okay. So we will have one times I4 plus 15 plus. Now for the six ohm, I4 is going in that direction, but I3 in the opposite direction. So it becomes six. I4 minus I3, and this is equal to zero. Let me arrange uh, terms here. So we'll have I4, so 7I4 plus 15 minus 6I3 equal to zero. Move this to the other side. So basically you will have 6I3 minus 7I4 equal to 15 and this is my third equation we are done we, we need one more equation again it, you can select one mesh or combination of meshes but the point is that you should not have any current source so i can basically take this mesh or this loop big loop which is combination of several meshes so as you can see here there is no any uh, current source in the path of that loop. So let's uh, let's start uh, applying our uh, KBL here. So we start from here. So polarity. So you assign the polarity according to the current in that loop. So current going this way. So this plus minus, plus minus, plus minus already, and plus minus. Now you start here and you keep on adding voltages. So I will call this is number two, loop number two. So KVL to loop number two. So we will have four I2 plus three I3 plus I4 times one plus 15 volt plus 5i1 equal to 0. Okay, so we will have here 5i1 plus 4i2 plus 3i3 plus i4 equal to minus 15, and this is my fourth equation.
So that's this is this is the part here. Now we want to solve this again. I will not solve this system of equations, but I already mentioned in the previous video uh, that you need to use uh, some of the techniques like Gaussian elimination, a very efficient technique to solve the system of equations. I already provide you with the link. And I will provide you also the link in the, in the description of this video as well. But let me put this in a matrix form. Put augmented matrix. So this is the four by four matrix. Represent I1, I2, I3, and I4. So the, from the first equation, the coefficient of I1 is minus one, of I2 is one, I3 and I4 are zeros, and this is the output here is two. The second equation, I1 is one, I2 is zero, I3 is minus 1 and I4 is minus 4, and this is equal to 0. Third equation, I1 and I2 both are zeros, and this is equal to 6 minus 7 and 15. And then finally, the last equation, this is 5, 4, 3, 1, and this is minus, minus 15. So basically, that is our equation. Now, if you solve this equation, you will find that your I1 is equal to minus 2.8693 amps. I2 is equal to minus 0.8693 amps. I3 is equal to 1.2876 amps. And finally, your I4 is equal to minus 1.0392 amps now just as a check to see if your answer is correct this is one check only we know that i2 minus i1 is equal to 2 amps. this is our first equation and you see here this is minus 0.8693 minus minus 2.8693 so it is equal to equal to 2 amps so this is an indication that your answer is correct the uh, part C says here, find the power dissipation in the 6 ohm. Now, the power power across the 6 ohm is equal to I squared times R. Now, the current that goes through R is either I4 minus I3 or I3 minus I4. Actually, it doesn't really matter. Both will give you exactly the same, the same answer. So, I will say here, uh, I4 minus i3 squared times r okay so i4 is minus 1.0392 minus 1.2876 squared times r which is the six so this is how you can uh, do that so let me do the calculation for this 2876 1.0392 so this is equal to this current will equal to minus 2.3268 square times times six. Okay, so here square this times six. So you would equal to this will be equal to 32.48 watt. This is how much power is dissipated in the 6 ohm. If you do with I3 minus I4, you will get exactly the same answer because of the square. So it will get rid of the, of the minus sign. So this is how we approach the, uh, mesh, uh, the mesh analysis.